Hey, what's up? It's Omar Corey with Think Media, and I'm so pumped to be breaking down this entire YouTube studio and desk setup on wheels that allows you to do anything that you need it to do. Whether you need to shoot YouTube videos, do productive tasks, or even live stream, it'll handle those tasks. And speaking of live streaming, I wanna shout out the sponsor of this video, and that is StreamYard. StreamYard is how we go live here on Think Media and our Think Media podcast. It's really the easiest way that you can actually conduct a live stream and have it make it look professional. You can bring on guests, you can do transitions between your slides, and so much more. And if you wanna check out StreamYard yourself and maybe get into some live streaming, then be sure to check out the link in the description below or go to Stream would think Com. Now let's start with the desk that's holding everything together. This is a Husky desk that we found at Home Depot and this is the 48 inch wide version. This desk comes in white and black and it also has two drawers but you can order it without drawers as well. But there is honestly no replacement for how solid this desk is. It also has an adjustable height which is super cool. They actually call this an, a workbench uh, on their website or when you go to Home Depot. Uh, and although it is adjustable, it's not electric. You actually you have to crank it with the crank that they give you, but you can take that off and put it somewhere else, which is super nice. But this desk honestly is amazing and it comes with the wheels. So you can just screw on the wheels when you put it together. And honestly, putting this desk together was a super breeze. This version of the desk that we got with the drawers came in at around $230. And obviously that price will fluctuate if you get a bigger size or no drawers and things like that. But you can get a desk like this essentially for around $200, which I think is one of the best deals. And be sure to check out the links down in the description below if you'd like to check out these products yourself and find which one fits you best. As far as the monitor for this setup, you might have noticed that it's a unique size. This is actually called the LG Dual Up Monitor. It's a 27 and a half inch monitor that's 16 by 18. So it's not your traditional widescreen monitor, but I really think this is a cool screen because it not only accomplishes what I need it to, especially when editing videos or surfing the web, it works really well with pages and things like that. And another cool thing about this monitor is it actually came with the mount that actually it has that you see in this uh, setup. It actually comes with the monitor itself, which is super cool to know. And really this monitor arm is unique as it allows you to do essentially whatever you need the monitor to do. If you need to tilt it, you need to swing it, you need to rotate it. Uh, it kind of does it all, uh, even to the extent of hiding cables. Yes, you can pop off the plastic, run cables through behind it so it keeps it clean and minimal uh, with whatever workstation you actually use it with. But this is the LG Dual Up Monitor. Now, I hope you're getting an idea of maybe building out your own setup because you don't necessarily need to use everything we use. And so this desk setup will work with any monitor. If you already even have a monitor, maybe you just get the desk itself and you'll be already halfway there. And then as far as the laptop that powers up this entire thing, we are using a Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip inside of it and a few other couple upgrades, but essentially it's a machine that can handle any creative work you throw at it, whether it be you know live streaming or graphic design and things like that. And so this, this absolutely crushes everything we throw at it. And we've been loving this laptop here at Think Media. And we love that it actually gives you a great secondary monitor to use as it's open, as well as the keyboard. So we still use the keyboard of the computer itself and really the two paired is really a cool and neat thing. Like if you're editing videos, you can have the you know video up top and then essentially have your timeline down low or maybe your effects down low and then have your timeline underneath your video. But there's so many cool ways that you can configure this because of how much screen real estate you now have. But with that being said, I do think it's important to have an ergonomically nice mouse. And with that, we use the Logitech MX Master 3. And I've been loving this mouse. I love the click sounds that it has. And you can order a version that doesn't have a click sound. But just for you know, be doing computer work for long periods of time, it is really nice on your hand as opposed to a trackpad where that can get kind of finicky with your wrist and things like that. Now moving on to how this desk works as a YouTube studio, starting with the lighting setup, we got this desk light from Godox. It's called the ES45. This is a super sweet light. It's not only cool because of the features it has, but it also is cool because it comes with everything. And if you order this light, you're gonna get the light stand itself that clamps onto the desk, a nice large light that is essentially all you need to light your face. And then the light itself actually comes with a wireless rechargeable remote that kind of comes off the back of the light and you can literally control the light wirelessly and put this remote kind of on your desk and turn it on and off. You can change the temperature. 
you can adjust the brightness. And if you have multiple lights, you can actually put them all on one group and control it with one remote, which is super nice. But that is the Godox ES45. Again, links down to everything in the description below. And then as far as the camera, I really wanted to think about a camera that uh, looks great, but is also very easy to use as a webcam. And I don't think there's any other one better than the Sony ZV-E10. And the reason why I say that is because this camera not only shoots great 4K video, the kit lens that comes with it is at 16 millimeters. And so that's kind of wide enough from where it is kind of like arm's length distance to give you that nice medium wide shot. And it's a super light camera, so it doesn't bog down the weight of anything, which is super nice. But what's also cool about the Sony ZV-E10 is that you can actually use just a USB cable to use it as a webcam. So simply plugging in a USB-C into the camera, and then plugging it into the laptop, turning on the, the USB camera feature in the camera itself, and then you can use it for zoom. And now be, with the light and the camera, you have a sick setup to do either zoom calls or maybe live streams with. Shout out to StreamYard for sponsoring this video one more time, but it really is easy to use. And so we went with the Sony ZV-E10 and really to keep this super minimal, we used a small rig mount to clamp onto the light stand itself. And then we put a quick release system on the camera so we can just slide on and off the camera as needed. Um, but having this setup keeps the desk super clear and legit with no tripods and light stands, we have a full blown YouTube studio uh, minus your audio, which I'll get into in just a moment. But having the ZV-E10 for those dual purposes is key. And when I thought about an audio solution for this setup, I thought about something that doesn't take up any more desk space. I don't need to clamp anything on the desk as a traditional kind of like work desk with a live stream setup would have. I actually went with the Deity Pocket Wireless, which is a wireless mic that has a clip on lab that you could put on your shirt, but plugging that into the camera itself not only gives your video great audio quality if you record in camera on an SD card, but you can actually select your camera as your audio source as well in whatever platform you do conference calls or live streams with. You can just select the ZV-E10 as your audio source and now the audio that it's getting from the mic itself is running through the entire setup. Now, if you don't have the ZV-E10 and maybe you wanna do something like this, you can actually plug in the Deity Wireless into your computer using a USB cable and actually just select it as your USB mic, which is super sweet and I think is a very underrated way to capture audio when using your computer with a wireless mic. A lot of people think they need to get a mic that's in the shot, like a dynamic mic or something. You don't need to do that with a DD Pocket Wireless, but having this whole setup put together was really cool and fun to do. And being able to just literally roll the table and change the shot literally in a moment uh, to get a different kind of shot. So maybe you work in a corner, but when you wanna shoot YouTube videos, you can kind of pull it and put it at an angle and not really have to move anything else other than the desk, which is super sweet. But a couple things we did to really clean up the cables and things like that was we used a lot of command strips for a lot of those bricks that are on power adapters to just suspend it underneath the desk so it can kind of be hidden away. It's kind of our trick that we like to do. It's inexpensive and command strips are very reliable and can hold a lot of weight surprisingly. We also strapped a power strip to the bottom of this desk with a really long cable on it to plug into an outlet with that being the only thing needing to power this entire desk. And so when rolling it around, you're not running over a thousand different wires because everything is now just plugged into that power strip down below. And then just wrapping up the cable so they're just kind of clean and tucked away, which presents this to be a very clean space to work in and it makes you want to work and makes you want to be creative. And I hope you really enjoyed this setup, but we do a ton of desk setup videos. And if you want to check out another one of those, you can do that by clicking or tapping the screen. I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.